Hey, is this the biggest hammerhead shark ever caught? Or is this just some sculpture for a museum or a movie? I've got the answer to that epic size question, plus answers to four more real or fake submissions sent in by you guys. Like this video that claims to show a car that's designed to help you beat the traffic. A picture that claims to show a girl with two pupils. A picture that claims to have captured a tornado and a rainbow on camera at the same time. And a very spooky video claiming to show a real fairy caught on camera. It's gonna be a real mind bender of a show. Plus, I'm also gonna be showing you my favorite fake video of the week at the end, so don't go away. Hey guys, Bill here. Wow, what a week. I think we broke all records for the number of submissions that came in this week. So what do you say we just get started? Number five. I've seen some really big hammerhead sharks in my travels, but nothing this big. So here's the question. Is that a real shark in that picture? Or is that maybe some kind of a sculpture for a museum or maybe even a prop for a movie? The picture was sent in by Spring Foxy who just wrote, it would be terrifying if this is real. Foxy, I don't think you have too much to worry about because the guy in the picture, I think I recognize him and he's one of the designers on that Ark survival game. You know the one I'm talking about? Yeah. But on the other hand, you know, these hammerhead sharks can get really big according to the National Geographic Society. Many believe the head evolved as a kind of specialized rudder, allowing the shark to whip its body quickly upwards, backwards, and side to side. And did you know the shape of their head is like that to help them hunt for their favorite food? Stingrays? Thousands of receptors are packed in their unique head shape. Man, that would be a lot of stingrays to keep that thing satisfied. I, I mean, I don't even know how that would be possible. I mean, there wouldn't be any stingrays left in the ocean. That thing is so big. But anyway, let's see what the official answer is. You ready? How'd you vote? Real? Fake? Well, we're gonna find out whether you're right, right now, because it says, the picture and the hammerhead shark in it are both real. Thanks to Shazrul bin Hassan and a whole bunch of others from my Facebook fact-checking team, we now know this 1,200 kilogram or 2,600 pound monster was caught off the coast of Australia. It was purchased by Australia's Shark Hunter Museum for display with a whole collection of monster sharks they have there. With people spending more and more time in traffic jams, you knew it was only a matter of time before someone came up with a better way to beat the other guy down the road. Check this out. This video was sent in by Ian Windsor, who just wrote, Bill, is this car really a transformer? Or is it just a big fake? Well, Ian, you know, in a world where it's increasingly difficult to get where you want to go on time, I can see somebody coming up with an idea like that. I mean, you know, why not? But then again, on the other hand, I could see it being outlawed as like as soon as it hit the streets, because can you imagine? I mean, people would have a heart attack if like suddenly they see this thing coming over the top of their car. So, but anyway, what do I know? Let's see what it says here. It says, just in case you're wondering, uh, that the video of the car that is a transformer and built to get around traffic jams is a big, fat fake. As it turns out, this car really was built, but there's only one of them. And that's because it wasn't built for people to get to work on time. It was built for an advertising campaign to promote a device being sold by US cell phone giant Verizon. I have no idea why they decided to call it Hum. And, and guys, really, I mean, don't you think that's a little bit close to Humvee and IED and all those negative connotations? I think I might have a better idea for you. And that is, listen to this, you ready? 
Ada, A-D-D-A, another driving distraction app. Huh? Well, second thought, maybe you should just stick with hum. As we all know, Mother Nature isn't always perfect when making her favorite life forms. We have seen a lot of examples of this come through the door here at Real or Fake, like two-headed snakes, people with missing bones in their necks, cyclops, sharks, and a whole bunch of other stuff. But here's a new one for you. How about a girl with two pupils? This picture was sent in by The Noobing Plays, who just wrote, Real or Fake, Two Pupils. Newbie, I think we all know that Mother Nature is completely capable of creating something like that. But on the other hand, I also know there's a lot of people out there who are practicing their Photoshop skills and have no bigger desire than Earth than to fake us out. So let's see what the official answer is here. All right, now, the official answer of this picture showing a woman with double pupil iris structures in her eye is completely fake. Thanks to Facebook fact checkers, Atlas Leader and Marley Hansen, we now know that there is such a condition known as pupilla duplex or eyes with two pupils. It is extremely rare, but Ripley's Believe It or Not featured a Chinese emperor named Lu Chung who had the condition. Now, as far as the picture itself goes, our eagle eye researcher, Ilana James, really nailed this one by examining the reflections in the two different irises. Look at this. The reflection in this one shows some kind of building in the background, while this one shows what looks like a small road with a hill behind it. Weather always provides us with strange and interesting photos. Some of them are legitimate and others, well, obvious fakes. But then there are those that we're not quite sure of, like this one. This picture claims to show a tornado and a rainbow caught on camera at the same time. It was sent in by Oscar Wilde One who just wrote, Bill, is this even possible? Oscar, you know, weather can be pretty wild out there and just about anything, and I mean anything, is possible. But then again, I'm not a weather expert. I don't even know what barometric pressure means. So I think what we're going to have to do is rely on the old official answer here today. All right, let's see what it says here. How'd you guys vote? Did you vote real? Did you vote fake? Well, let's see if you're right or see if you are wrong. Here we go. All right, the picture that claims to show a tornado and rainbow caught on camera at the same time is real. Thanks to Facebook researcher Atlas Leader who provided this video, we now know that rainbows and tornadoes can appear at the same time. Fact check team member Isaac Sisson then provided us with a NASA webpage to confirm the photo. It was taken in Kansas by storm chaser Eric Nagunian just at the right moment. According to NASA, tornadoes are the most violent type of storm known to occur on Earth. Over 1,000 of them are recorded every year. Number one. Wouldn't it be cool if there were real fairies in this world? You know, like the ones we see in movies? Well, here's a video that claims to show exactly that. It was recorded in England a few years back and follows some kids in their backyard as they stumble across this strange creature in a tree. Yeah, look. Why up there? Insect or something. Is that an insect? Let's have a look. The video was sent in by Cindy Lopez, Zhu Min Chong, and Billy Miller. Billy wrote, hey Bill, is this a real fairy or just CGI? Billy, you know, sometimes when it looks like CGI and smells like CGI, it is CGI. Now, for you guys that aren't familiar with that term CGI, what it stands for is computer generated imagery. And that's the process where they'll take one picture and then they'll add something extra to the picture that wasn't in the original. 
Peter Butler has shown us how to do this a hundred times here on the channel, so hopefully you're familiar with it. For both images, I've painted a half blink and a full blink onto the clown, as well as moving his pupils for the close-up. So, that leaves it to you guys. I mean, you know, what are you thinking out there? You think it's fake CGI, or do you think it's real, and that there are real fairies out there floating around? Let's see what the official answer here says. And, wow, this is interesting. The official answer says that the video showing the supposed fairy on the branches of an apple tree is unknown. The fact checking team were all over this one, but you know what? At the end of the day, we couldn't find one CGI expert who would say for sure that this is CGI. Add to this that nobody related to the making of the video has come forth to confess to it being a prank or just a fake, and you see, that's why we have to leave it as unknown for now. Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video, but hey, don't go away just yet because I still gotta show you my favorite fake video of the week, which is really funny and you're not gonna wanna miss this. But before we do that, I just wanna send out a quick thanks to all you crazy people who send in all those crazy photos and videos that you send in every week. Also, a special thanks to my fact-checking team all over the world who helped me solve these little mysteries. And hey, don't forget, we've got a new show every Friday. And if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. But do me a favor, please don't leave suggestions or links in the comment section because the only thing that's gonna do is turn me into a hammerhead screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. Now to my favorite fake of the week. It's called 100 foot Megalodon shark washes ashore in South Africa, Coast Guard footage. Basically this video creator put some toys on the beach, walked around with a handheld camera and added some helicopter and pilot sound effects in an attempt to make us believe we are really looking at a 100 foot Megalodon. Can you say super fake? <laughs>